<laughs> What's the problem? Why don't you trust me? I trust you. But I'm not trust people. Okay. Ah, the good old, it's not you, babe, it's everyone else. You know what? That is got to be one of the most insecure comments of all time. Why do people always say, it's not that I don't trust you, I just don't trust other people? That is BS. Don't say that. If you trusted me, then you wouldn't worry about other people. The only time you should worry about other people is if you don't trust me. But anyway, we continue. Look, okay, I'm jealous, okay? Right, there's the truth. I just want you to apologize, babe. I swear to God, I don't have apologies. This is your fault. All right, pause. Just before it gets a bit mad here. The people who don't know and don't understand what's going on here. Shane went out for birthday celebrations. Having a good time drinking, all them kind of things. But Mert got upset with the fact that Shane was out for too long, drinking for too long. And pretty much being around other people that triggered him to think that maybe Shane was doing a madness. Wow. It was fucking my fault. Yeah. How was it my fault that you made me cry and I'm in the toilets on my birthday crying my eyes out? Why are you not telling uh, this bitch, man? Oh, but because, look, I sat, I am, listen to me, listen to me. Yeah, I don't think listening is one of his best traits, to be honest with you. I think the only thing that he cares about is getting his point across and making it abundantly known that he's in charge and you are not. Ah. How am I meant to see? I haven't got fucking eyes in the back of my head. Babe, have a nice day, okay? Don't you fucking dare. If you hang up the phone, I will lose the plot. I'll never understand why people generally waste their time around the wrong people. You know? But at the end of the day, to be honest, you're in a situation where Shane is dealing with a man that is clearly insecure or just dealing with someone that comes from a culture where I guess your partner isn't really allowed to be out around other people. I mean, listen, it really, it, really, it really differs, you know what I mean? Because sometimes, I guess, sometimes it's not a cultural thing. It is generally an insecure thing. But then sometimes it's a cultural thing because you're built to just make sure that your woman is only for you and nobody else. And you're allowed to control every single narrative going. And that's why it gets a little bit confusing. But either way, though, whether it's cultural or insecure, does it make any of it right? In my opinion, hell to the no. What is the point of being with someone and then telling them that they cannot do certain things? Especially if they're not doing anything wrong as well. Hey man, some people in this world have a mind of their freaking own. But hey, mm. if you're in my life, if you're my wife, if I'm not there, you can't go. Are you fucking stupid? Are you stupid? You are. <laughs> All I do is Shane loses it. It's quite funny. Are you fucking? Oh crap! <laughs> are you bloody stupid? Da 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 da. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, it is wild for him to come out and say, hey. So basically, if I'm not with you, you're not allowed to, you're, you are not allowed to go anywhere unless I'm with you. That is, that is wild, to be honest with you. The audacity, crazy. But this is definitely a cultural thing. It doesn't mean it makes it right. You're going to make me lose my mind, and I will come through the phone and slap you stupid. Yes, 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 yes. Wait, after last night, you never can drink outside. I mean, even though like the whole slap due to the face wasn't said like in a serious manner, you can do no violence. This conversation right here is going nowhere. It's gone absolutely south. Wow, that's right now a big problem. You want a drink or you want a me? Of course oh, I want you, you fucking idiot. Okay, you can't drink outside. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> we gotta replay that because her friend's reaction, right, is pretty much everything. The way her friend's like, oh my god, just listen, pay attention to the friend. <laughs> You can't speak outside. Oh my god. Okay. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, you need to come to my way. No, that's not possible. Maybe in Turkey the man makes all the rules, but in our life, this is not possible. Okay, so there you're going to all the thing, okay? Do you know what though? I do gotta say I do respect. I, I, I do respect, but at the same time it's a bit of a sticky one. I do respect where Shane's coming from, but at the end of the day where you come from, okay, cool, but where I'm from, this doesn't fly. So that's Shane trying to basically stand her ground and say, hey, like, yo, actually no wait, just I, I don't know what Shane actually I don't know what Shane's pronouns are. Man's done binary. I don't know if it's he, her, she, they, them. I haven't got a clue. Maybe it's a them. I don't know. I'm not good at that stuff, okay? Anyway, I'll say she for now. But with that being said, though, when it comes to Shane anyway, it's good that Shane's trying to basically stand her ground and say, hey, listen, that's not how things are going to be done when you come to the UK. Yeah, you're going to have to learn to compromise. But of course, Mert's like, mm-mm, mm-mm. It doesn't matter where I am in this, on, the, on this world. I will always be the way I want to be because that's how I was raised. And that's why it gets a bit sticky. But hey, this is what happens when you end up in a relationship with someone that is not from your culture or not from your country. 
What? Is that another rule coming out of your mouth? This is my, my life, my rules, you know how? We're going round and round and round in circles here. We're not getting anywhere. Yeah, this is your fault. Wild. This is your fault. Bear in mind, this is literally the day after Shane's birthday. Wow. Talk about love. And they only got engaged like literally, what, a week ago or something? I don't know. I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna close phone because I'm just fucking sick of going around and around in circles and just shouting each other. Could you not see my inside breaking? <laughs> Could you see it? I'm not gonna lie to you, but a cultural man doesn't care about your insides breaking. A cultural man only matters, only cares about his own morals and his own culture, and that is that. Where do we go from here? We're meant to be engaged. We're meant to be in the honeymoon period. If this is what it's gonna be like, then I don't know. Well, <clears throat> I'd like to imagine if this is how it's gonna be like, and you're like, I don't know. I'm hoping that don't know means that you're not gonna go through with it, because at the end of the day, this is never gonna change. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, this is never gonna change. This is exactly who he is, this is exactly how he's always gonna be. I think the chances of him changing that is very, very unlikely. I mean, fair enough, of course, you know, in his culture, it's not frowned upon to be gay, okay? And it's something that you're definitely, uh, you know, can definitely get you in a lot of trouble, you know, with everyone. But uh, just because he's more than happy to break the barriers to his, for his own happiness, you know, in terms of his attraction, it doesn't mean he's, it doesn't mean he's then also open to be breaking his own barriers for his own cultural um, um, uh, beliefs, you see what I'm saying? So... I think, I don't know if Shane has like this hope that maybe because he's already going against the grain and, you know, basically dating someone that, 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 that is, this week, this week gets a bit thick, isn't it? Either way, because he's, because he's gay and he's dating someone, right? Just trans non binary yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't keep up with so the <laughs> Ah! You, you get what I'm freaking saying, okay? I'm just gonna leave it there. Jesus. Right, God, God, God damn. God damn. I mean, Shane came in and just confused the whole shebang. Because this whole trans non binary thing, it's, it's, it's a madness. Now, I don't know if I, if, I, if I should be saying she, her, them, they. And now I don't know if I should be. be, be but I know in the show, Mert is referred to as gay. And, sh and so is Shane. So that means he's a he. So that means sh I, I refer to Shane as a he, right? Yeah, not a she, she, he, yeah. Because trans woman would refer to a man as straight, right? Not as gay. He, yeah. They're both he's, man. I'm out. <laughs> That's an automating right there. <laughs> if you want to correct me or have a contest or whatever, then do you got to do it? Anyway, with that being said, um, 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 oh, wait, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me reappear. Last thing. Either way, though, the, the, as far as I'm concerned, I hope Shane is ready to walk away because Mert's never going to change, and that is the bottom line. I mean, but if you decide to continue in this path with Mert, you're probably going to have more and more of those crying moments. It is what it is. Your choice. I'm out. Peace. Oh.